one of the comments that we got from a lot of people who read the script was that they couldn't believe that Vivian wrote the script because it, when you meet her in person and you read the thing, it just doesn't uh, seem like somebody like her could um, write such a thing. Vivian is an exceptional storyteller and she sews all our ideas together into an entertaining film. After completing the script, I knew that um, we had something very strong and very very solid. So after after I realized that we you know we couldn't include all these special effects and all these bombs and you know this crazy um, adventure story, I realized that what it came down to um, and has always come down to were the characters. This character of Sean, this boy who was lost, who was torn between um, his desire to be you know, an individual and wipe away with his past and also his duty to his family, Jude. I was very interested in stories that had to do with sibling rivalry of Cain and Abel. I always knew Jude from the beginning. Jude was obviously going to be one of the best. He was always a survivor. He was always a fighter. And he would always bring Sean along because he knew that he would always want to protect his brother. What I wanted to show was a boy who was forced to become a man early on having to protect his brother and embodying a, a kind of love but also jealousy. Sean just couldn't take it anymore. He couldn't. He didn't want to follow Jude's footsteps. Sean's inner turmoil comes from whether he should confront Jude face to face or try to find a solution otherwise. I wanted to include in this group of legendary fighters a guy who was just so much better than everyone else, not just in his fighting, but also in his character and his personality. He would be a very noble character, and that character would be Vitor. We also wanted to bring in his little brother, Kane, who would serve, the two of them serving as a foil for Jude and Sean as the story develops. And also in that group, uh, Sentenza, who was in a lot of ways the more witty tag along of the group, but also a very, very skillful fighter. Elsa is Sean's motive. He finds a kinship and a bond with her that he can never find with anyone else. She questions the world of the White Wall, like Sean. She feels the repercussions of the White Wall and the VX2 and was adopted at a very early age. Her adopted parents soon passed away and she was brought up by her adopted grandfather. As Sean and Elsa gets closer and closer, we see that Dr. Lei seems to be the barrier of what separates them. Sean's relationship with Elsa gets stronger. When everyone else seems to forget about the white wall, Elsa continues to question it. It's Elsa who begins to help Sean to try to find the cure for the VX2. The one thing that made Elsa and Sean unite was both of their desires to break free from this corrupt society that they were living in. But once Sean finds Sentenza's dead body and he becomes a, a victim to the Vespers, we see Sean's inner darkness, what he's been trying to hide, come out and explode off screen. It's, it's very sad that he had to leave everything that he, he's built uh, in the past years because he couldn't escape uh, who he really was. What attracted me to the character of Dr. Lei, I think, was the art that the character offers. Um, from an actor's perspective, at, at characters that go from one extreme to the other throughout the course of a play or a film are, I think, the most challenging and certainly the most fun to play. Um, Dr. Lay is one of those characters. He starts off as a man completely in control, or we think he's completely in control. Then we see the cracks start to show as he realizes that his security is not as tight as it should be. He's being let down left, right, and center. And then in the end, his entire world falls apart. 